How's it going, Lisa Bruce? up. I'm Six Killer, and welcome back to Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. Now, um, you remember we finished the game in the last episode, as in we got through all six chapters, but from what I understand, the skip functionality is available after you finish the game once, meaning that we can skip all the choices that we have, but all the dialogue we've already seen, so that we can see some new stuff. So that's going to make it a lot easier for us to play through the whole thing again. So I've decided we're going to do a whole playthrough once again from the start. Let's jump into chapter one and hopefully... We don't mess everything up. We got a lot of choices to change that uh, hopefully will fix everything. And we won't kill Frankie and uh, everything will just be gravy this time. And then when we get to it we can save Joe, finally. Poor Joe. I wonder how much new stuff there is to see that we haven't seen, that we didn't see the first time through. I wonder how the, the skip functionality works. Does it just auto-skip anything we've already seen? Or what? I do not know. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. Alright, here we go. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe. And Monroe. What are we gonna do? Kitty Cat. You can never find the right button, Poe. Not at all. I'm merely demonstrating that this shows the cat's meow. And on that note, <laughs> what's next, Monroe? Terrible. It's on the schedule, silly. I know that. I'm just making it sound like you have a choice. Okay then. What shall I choose? This Let one. Let me see. I choose a long walk on the beach. Ah yes. With the moon's bright eye bobbing on the black tide. No. The sun is shining and the sand is hot and soft between my toes. Wouldn't you like to walk on the beach with me? You're so emo, Poe. Alas, I fear I would burst into flames at the sun's first embrace. Oh, you're a vampire. We were outside this afternoon. Then I must simply hate the beach. That's a shame. Gets in your underpants. I hate skinny dipping alone. I'd never dream of letting you skinny dip on your own. And talking of wet dreams. Dreams. And nightmares. Is that too far to go on the on light on on I didn't have one on the air? Did I? You always have a choice, Monroe. Do you think anyone's listening? Of course. We're the only radio station in August. How many people if live you're in just August? Passing through, we mean August the town, not the month. What else are people listening to? Radio one. Two. Three, four, and five. Each other? But we have something they don't. Their cell phones? What's that? You. Shush, Bo, you'll get tongues wagging. Indeed. Talking of tongues that wag, we have a caller. Are you ready for a dream? My whole life. Ah, <sighs> Frankie. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. Hi, Frankie. What a beautiful voice you have. Well, thank you. I think all voices are beautiful. What do you think to Poe's voice? I hate it. Okay. <laughs> so, what's your dream, listener? I'm in August, and wherever I go, all I can hear is the radio. It's everywhere. It's loud and relentless, but there's this... bird. She cuts through the noise and guides me. I listen to the bird, and I fall blissfully asleep. <laughs> That's very interesting. You know what's People going on. People dream about their surroundings a lot. And a dream within a dream? That's nothing to worry about either. What do you think, Poe? I think you have a hardcore fan. A stan. What did a Monroe stan. Like, <laughs> Beautiful. Angelic. But it's trapped in a cage. A prison. But there's only one warden. And the warden is weak. There's a warden? Another bird. With a rumbling voice that makes me angry it plumes its feathers but my bird the one that calls me 
She's not interested in him. And she's caged. Munro, this is obviously a prank. He's talking about us and trying to be funny. But it's a dream. I never said it was a dream. Well, I think uh, <laughs> we've had quite enough of this. Listen to the ward and jangling his keys. Don't you see he's imprisoned you, Ellis? Well, um, Frankie, we don't use our first names on air, so I'm just going to I think I cut him off last time. Dreams. And nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. And we'll be back with more dreams and nightmares later. But first, August, how about a short, dark tale to chill the nerves? And we're clear. This is the oh, emo radio station in the well. land. I love Indeed. it. <laughs> Just another totally normal person calling into our show. I don't know how we attract them. I do. <laughs> how long is this story? It's just a quickie, but if you'd like it longer, there's plenty more I could queue up. I can still hear you. Uh, sorry, Frankie. Thank you for your dream. Thank God he told us. That could have been awkward. Very. Maybe I'll just have a cold shower. They have a shower at the radio station? Kick it under the door. Piss off, Frankie, you piece of shit. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm stretching. Is that allowed? Of course. I just thought you should relax. Sit. Close your eyes, maybe. And what if I don't? You'd have to punish me, wouldn't you, Mr. Warden? And aside. <laughs> I've been very naughty. What's that? I think you know what it is. No. That. I think I fucked up. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Ignore it. Uh, Damn it. Uh, don't. I'm going to kill you. What the hell, Paul? Why were you hiding this from me? It's just some psychotic listener, that's all. Frankie? Not necessarily. We have lots of psychotic listeners. How can you joke about this as a death threat? It's clearly a death threat. I knew it would upset you, but I'm an old hand at this, Alice. People see you as a celebrity. It makes them do abnormal things, but they're just normal people. When did you find it? Someone slipped it under the door. Just now? Well, yes, <laughs> but it's nothing to worry about. We've been getting them for the... Damn, I should have done the weeks. microphone thing. Weeks? Maybe a month. So that could be a killer behind the door. Mm. Maybe, but never when I've looked. Oh. It isn't locked, Alice. People can just walk in anyway. I think we opened the can door last time. Blocks? I don't think it's necessary. Oh. Do you ever get the feeling the radio station is... is cursed? No more than the rest of August. So yes. Maybe we should call him. <laughs> it sounds like a yes to me. Munro, this isn't like you. I just have a really bad feeling about this. I think something terrible is going to happen. Shh, Alice. I can feel your heart racing from here. Everything will be fine. I don't think so. Come on, we're alive. All right. How are we going to get out of this? Don't be like that. How could you keep this from me? I thought you cared about me. What if I'd been killed? They're from my wife. Crap, that's what I did last Gwendolyn? time. Yes, Gwendolyn. It's her perfume. Ah, we'll get around it. It'll be all right. I work late, when I don't have any work to do, and I kiss her on the cheek instead of the lips. Yes, 
She knows. But does she want to kill me? She doesn't know who with. I love you. I love each and every one of you listeners. I'll never be a frowny face again. Good save. They should really keep their personal talks Been away from the microphones. Bad dreams, lady August. <laughs> okay, who's our next listener? Frankie. It's Frankie again. Put him through. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. I didn't finish what I had to say. I'm sorry about that. You can carry on now. Sometimes the radio gets too much. It makes me... frustrated. So I go into the belly of the beast, and I hide, and I listen, and I wait. So this is a dream that breaks into other dreams. Of course there are no segues for dreams. Poe? The belly of the beast. Have you been leaving messages, Frankie? Yes, John. Yes, I have. Have you been getting them? What did the messages say? I'm going to kill you. Dude, that's so creepy the way he said that. Cut. Sorry, Frankie, we seem to have lost you there. But if you're still listening... I think your dream expresses what a kind and gentle person you are deep down. And the fact that you want to protect the bird tells me that you would never hurt anyone in any way. And I think that's really special, Frankie. So, thank you for your dream. Don't! I'm not hiding, Monroe. I'll do it. If it's Frankie, maybe he won't hurt me. You don't know that. And what if it's my wife? I thought you said she didn't know. Hide. No. If you're not hiding, then neither am I. Oh, well, this is the big one. Frankie? It's Alice. I'm opening the door so we can talk. Okay? Just you and me. Frankie? There's no one here. I've had enough of this. What are you doing? I'm getting our caller back on the line. Maybe we should just carry on with the show. He's gonna grab you from behind like that. Come on, Frankie, pick up. You know you want to. Oh crap, he's inside. What the balls? That's horrifying. Um, please don't die. <laughs> I'd be really sad if you died. Finally, you've picked up. You coward. Poe, it's me. I found his phone. Ellis? I've got his phone, but I don't know where he is. Be careful, Ellis. I'm a safety girl. <laughs> I'm a safety. Oh God! Did you just kill him again? Oh, now you did. Oh, stop it! Stop. He's dead. Oh my God! I was very careful not to kill him. 
But we killed him anyway. Maybe there's no ch no choice. Maybe this is how it's gonna go. I don't know. Whoops, wasn't meant to do that. When I was 12, my father died. He was riding his bike to work and he got hit by a bus, a school bus, my school bus. It was all over very quickly, but I was As you can at imagine. the back of the bus and I could see everything. Hmm. He didn't move, didn't get up, died instantly. But the image of it somehow stayed with me. You think? It doesn't anymore. I couldn't tell you what it looked like. Mother told me a secret. There's a way that you can make your memories disappear. Can you make today disappear? No. But you can. Pick one of these. Well, I picked the apple last time. We can go orange. We can go citrus all the way. Now hold it tightly in your hands and close your eyes. Now what? This Think is all going to play out the same anyway. From this we didn't have to bury his ass. And imagine the object <laughs> you're holding is there. Picture it so you can see it. Okay. You have to make yourself believe that the object is there. Okay, it's there. Now open your eyes. Now what? Throw it away. When you throw it away, it will take that memory with it. And if it doesn't? It definitely will. If it doesn't, you can have orange juice. Well, I guess you can't because you would have thrown it away. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> if it doesn't try the apple. Finally tonight, police are appealing for anyone who might know the whereabouts of 35-year-old veterinarian Francisco Bilson. Mr. Bilson hasn't been seen since the headless body of his business partner Jennifer Gordon was found in an industrial bin outside Lux Fitness. Is that the first murder in August, Poe? This year, yes. But technically it's on the Stepford border. So whilst August police deal with it, the crime statistic is with Stepford. Oh, lucky oh, them. That's cold. <laughs> yes, indeed. Tonight's weather will be cloudy with scattered showers. Yeah, make sure you cover your head. Now what happens when your very own Poe and Monroe decide to play a game of truth or dare? Stay tuned to find out more later. But first, we want to hear from you, August. Got a guilty secret? Need to get something off your chest? I know you do. Father Poe is waiting in the confession. Oh, she does not look to start. To absolve you of all your sins. Anonymously, of course. And here's a message from our sponsor. Do we have a sponsor? How do we let him get away, Poe? He just disappeared. He, he was dead, Ellis. No pulse, no breath. We didn't bury him. And who took him? He just disappeared. It seem it was our guardian angel. Just hope he doesn't come back. I never want to hear that voice again. Okay, that's he different. Coming back. How can you be so sure? And why did you take off before the police got here? You left me to deal with everything. Not everything. Not everything. So he did bury the body. Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Our funding's running out, isn't it? Months ago. How do we pay it back? A radiothon. In bed with Poe and Monroe. Lurkers, if you're out there just lurking. I can't wait to hit this next episode sign. again. That was nuts. It's Millicent. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. The station shuts down. I don't know what I'll do. You're safe now.
Dark Knights. With Pearl and Monroe. I don't really know how they can change though, to be honest, but uh, we'll see. All right, I think those are all new notes, uh, all new choices. Scary Corridors was new altogether. Oh, I didn't, uh, the poker face, I should have left it. But other than that, it looks good to me. So, I mean, it, it was a kind of a different outcome, I think, depending on whether Poe actually did just go and bury that guy or not. But I guess, uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.